Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to make a time series graph with Excel. And this is without uh, the data analysis tool pack or any third party add in. It's just the graphing abilities that comes with um, a version of Excel. And it's really easy, it's just like a scatter plot. Um, in the first column, you're going to um, have some sort of time variable. In this case, it was just month, um, consecutive months. And in the right hand column, the second column is going to be some numerical, some quantitative data regarding this time uh, frame. Uh, but it could be t actual times of days, actual like sequenced first hour, second hour, third hour. The only the only thing that makes a time series graph a time series graph is the requirement that the the x variable, the first column, represents some sort of time variable. Um, so once you have that, it's really quite easy. I'm going to highlight both columns, and I'm going to go over to Insert. I'm going to go to Line, and I'll do the first one. And notice it's nice enough to average hours of daylight. It takes it titles the graph whatever the column heading is on my Y variable. And uh, notice it put the all the months in here and uh, just turned them 90 degrees so that they all fit in there. I think if you make it bigger, it, you, you can actually get it to uh, spell them out horizontally. So either way, you can play around with it. Um, I usually like to put in X labels and Y labels, and so you have to go to the chart tools, which is in green here, but that disappears if you click outside of the graph, that chart tables in green is now gone. So you have to click on the graph. Now we have our chart tools right up there. You can change the color, um, do some things with your um, axes, make them start at zero if it doesn't start at zero, things like that. More grid lines. Then you can format various aspects. But I'm going to design chart layouts. I'm basically just looking for a chart that has an X label and a Y label and a title. So uh, let's see. The first one that has that looks like this here. Good. Okay, so since I only have one graph, so back to my graph here, since I only have one graph, I don't need this on the right hand side, so I get rid of that. And my X title will be uh, month. And my Y label will be um, average hours of daylight. All right. And I'll keep that my title too because that sort of describes exactly what this does. And, and there you have it. That's your time series graph. It's really just a, a line graph only this axis, the x-axis, has some sort of time. Now it is a little tricky with Excel as far as putting in time because it will it'll take over. If it gets a sense that you're putting in dates or times, it'll take over and you can do all sorts of various formatting. For example, if I look at this and I hit format, I didn't format this in any particular way, but it seems to be putting it under the custom with day, month, month, month. I'm not exactly certain what that means, but notice what I can do here. Suppose I go up here and I put in actual uh, January, say, January 2014. It changes it to the 1st of January. And if I do February 2014, then I can actually highlight these first two, grab it at the lower right corner and pull it down, that box, that sort of changes it, right? Now it's basically the 1st of January, 1st of February. It actually gives its own um, interpretation of what that date means. And usually it does a pretty good job, but you might have to go in there and change the format, right? Here it's custom. You can change it to a date and you can just put in whatever you like. Um, let's do um, the month and the year with a slash. Right, and so that changes it, right? And you can change that for all of those to whatever format you like. All right, we'll go to date, month and year, okay. And so notice that changes the format of the date down here. The same thing can be with time. Um, so the, tr the the thing to be careful of, I mean, a time series graph is really quite straightforward and simple. It's just a graph. Um, the trick is making sure that Excel formats that time correctly because it will automatically do a lot of it, so you've got to sort of keep your eye on it. Aside from that, the graphs are really nice, very easy, um, and it doesn't take more than a couple um, clicks of a button to get there. And we're done. Thanks.